Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Water Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the AC clutch relay is located, stay with us, we'll explain where you can find it, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, the AC clutch relay, where you can expect to find it, we will demonstrate on that generation Dodger I'm here. What you guys need to do, you need to go ahead and open the hood. Once you guys open the hood here on the driver's side, now let's zoom in a little bit, you see your car battery right there. Now guys, if you go ahead, okay, and uh, look in front of it, you'll find the fuse box, press these two tabs, lift it up, it will open and on the inside you'll find a main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So guys, here for the AC clutch, if you want to see how to test, replace AC clutch, we have multiple videos on the channel. Please guys, make sure to stay until the end, we want to give you one good advice, that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. You have multiple relays, but unfortunately, you guys do not have a relay. You have a relay fuse. The relay fuse that you need to check, it's two of them, okay, and starting this way, that's 57, 8, 9, 60, 61, 62. 62 is one of them that you need to check, and the second fuse that you will need to check is fuse number 99 right here that you need to check for the AC clutch as well. So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 